All right, we're gonna walk around this morning. It is 5.42 in the morning. Got my notes with me. And uh, I was looking for a, a, different, a different scene. Let's try like a, a city scene here, so. The Philippines is not woke, look at that. This is a child-friendly school. That's interesting. Look at all those brown-haired kids. There's no diversity there. That is not woke at all. All right, so today's topic. Today's topic is <laughs> things Filipinos do that I don't understand. Across the one year mark of being here in the Philippines. And this is a light topic. This is, this is not meant to make fun of Filipinos. This is just things that I, I find kind of comical. And maybe if you're a Filipino, you'll find it too. I'm sure there's lots of things Americans do that you guys don't understand. But um, <clears throat> these are some of the things I've noticed. And uh, maybe, maybe some of them are a little bit specific to the province. So, uh, number one, there's, there's no doorbells. <laughs> so... When you get to someone's house, you just yell out their name. You don't bother knocking. Just just stand out in front, yell out their name. It's kind of funny. And the crazy thing for me is that myself, my neighbor, and my wife, we all have the same... Um, it, when someone's yelling it, and kind of as, as people do, like, Dib! Dib! Uh, that can also be Ten, who's... This, nickname for my wife or our neighbor also has a very very similar sound to her name so <laughs> no doorbells uh, this one really gets me number two this one really gets me oh by the way here's our here's our ATM it is tucked away in this very convenient location so if you are in our town Here's the main road. Um, good luck finding this thing. And I think it only takes like a... It takes Diners Club, Discover, whatever that is, and Union Pay. Notice that there are no Visa or MasterCard on that list. So if you have a... Visa or MasterCard and you want to use the ATM, the only ATM, for an hour drive of here, you will need a Diners Club card. Okay. City Hall, they're building. I think it's going to be real nice. Uh, as you can see, if you watched my wedding video, got married in like the school. Okay, this one, which I was going to get to before I was interrupted by the ATM is uh, still waking up here um, unplug everything just unplug everything you're done with it unplug it this is something that was really strange to me when I <laughs> when, when, when I first started living with Kristen she would unplug everything and um, <clears throat> I would go to use the television, for example. Man, I got a booger or something. I would uh, go to use the television. I would go to use the toaster every single time. I'd go and put the toast in, put the thing down, and then I'd wait five minutes. And then it's like, it's unplugged. And I had to tell her, I'm like, look, the electrical draw that comes out of that toaster is like nothing. Just, just leave it in there. Just leave it in there. So, I, this is like, and this is not just specific to my wife. This is, I have seen this done everywhere. If you, you can even go into a nice hotel, like $40, $50 a night hotel, which is pretty good here. Um, and you'll walk in and it, like the mini bar fridge will be unplugged. And then you have to wait like four hours for the thing to cool down. And then another four hours for anything to get cold. Makes no sense to me. 
Okay. Bathrooms in the Philippines. They're microscopic. Absolute. And they put the shower right over the toilet. So, you know, if you're with someone, and this, this is hotels, um, definitely houses for sure. Lots of different places. Hey, if someone before you goes in and uh, takes a shower and then you have to take a deuce, you're, you're coming in and your, your butt is sitting on just like pure water. And I don't know about you, but when I feel liquid on a toilet, a lot of times I'm not assuming it's water. So that, that always gets me really weird. I like, I am for the separation of toilet and shower. What do we have here? La Memoria de P. Burgos. Este momento, something bajo la subscription popular. Let me translate for you because I am fluent in whatever language this is. This is the more memorial of Mr. Uh, Father Burgos. That dude. And they built this below because he's popular in March 1927. See, a lot of people don't think that I speak Tagalog, but I do. I'm very good at it. <laughs> Actually, right before I was, I wish I would have had my camera with me. It was still in the, underneath in my scooter. But literally, something I don't understand. Number four, any, anything plastic can become a helmet here. And the police will buy off on it. it like, a, a real popular one is uh, skateboard helmets, which actually have some sort of protection. That, that one is not so bad. It is not ANSI rated for motorcycle use or whatever the US standard is. But a really popular one too. I just saw it happen right as I was about to make this video and I wish I had my camera with me. It would have been a good clip to insert is uh, construction helmets. <laughs> and, and the police buy off on this. I mean, it's, I don't understand. It's like, you, you, if you have nothing on your head, you're, you're in trouble. But if you have a construction helmet, like, which is like, or like an ice bucket with a strap that you made, you're good to go. Standards. All right. Okay. Th this one's actually kind of sad. This one actually is uh, not making fun of things. It's a little bit more serious. I have recently. I didn't know about this. It took me. It took me ten months to understand um, this issue. And. Um, I didn't know about it, but you know, we in the United States, uh, different areas we have, and I, I think they exist here regulated, but they have payday loans. So if you are short on money, but you have a regular job, you can just show your paycheck and maybe a bank statement from the last two months, and you can go into a payday loan place and they will give you a very high interest loan. And then when you get the money, um, they directly debit it from your bank account. Here they have something called the five six, and I think it's it's horrible. Um, it's literally robbery of your neighbors. So for five thousand pesos, which is a hundred dollars, you're allowed to keep that hundred dollars U.S. or five thousand pesos Philippines for one month. And um, <clears throat> at the end of that month, you have to pay six thousand back. So five six, five thousand pesos, six thousand back. Well. That is 20% over the course of a month. And I will let you smart people in the comment section come up with the APR, annual percentage rate, on what that is. It is unbelievable. And it is literally a robbery of your fellow citizens. So that is something the Filipinos do here locally that I have heard about, I think is really bad. That's the one negative turn we'll take in this. And then to end on a good note, Something that, that always uh, 
that always kind of makes me laugh is how Filipinos point at everything. Hey, Chrissy, where's the phone? This one's been well documented. Lots of Philippine videos. Um, so this is probably nothing new to a lot of people around the Philippines, but it's pretty funny. Just, uh, you know, a lot of times like the butter will be on the table and Kristen will not even ask me for it. She'll just go. So kind of funny. So there's a lot of other <laughs> intricacies, little different things in the Philippines. Uh, maybe you guys have some suggestions of what they are and let me know in the comments section. But here is what morning in the Philippines looks like. We are now under general community quarantine, whatever that means. Um, in my opinion, the lowering of the level of the coronavirus deal has literally changed absolutely nothing. In fact, I feel we still have all the same roadblocks, we still have all the same restrictions. Um, normally I would be wearing a mask, I am not because I am filming and it is too early in the morning for anyone to care. So um, actually a couple days ago they stopped all commercial flights coming into the Philippines and going out of the Philippines. So it has, it remains to be seen if things are loosening. And um, at this time and space, I do not believe that they are. And I get the general feeling that most people really don't care. Either way, I, I seem to be the only person that I know of that is frustrated about this. I would say life here for people that don't travel I am very fortunate to be able to travel so I'm, I'm spoiled I know that but life is very much the same here in the Philippines in the province oh wow someone is using the ATM that is amazing she must have a diners club card all right guys thanks for the little walk around and hopefully you're enjoying your time wherever you may be, take care.